some, I guess, good news, mixed bag. Let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell has been given 20 years for aiding Jeffrey Epstein in trafficking. This is something we've been covering and looking at for a long yes, time. Yeah. The problem, unfortunately, <laughs> we covered basically this since the day that it all broke back in 2019, is that you know we really just did not learn a hell of a lot about Ghislaine Maxwell and about Jeffrey Epstein in this trial. It's like the FBI went out of its way in order to prosecute crimes that happened you know, decades and decades ago. And they focused very specifically on these two or three crimes. They did not focus on many of the famous people that Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein were involved in. And with the conclusion of the trial, you actually basically end the ability to gain access to the FBI's evidence that they did seize from Epstein's mansion and from many of the Epstein-affiliated you know, finance networks and more. The indictment and all that gave us a, a, a little bit of a preview into how Epstein would move money around and her, him and Maxwell would you know, work together in order to fund both European prostitutes and all this other disgusting behavior. But a lot of the open inquiries are closed at this point. The Virgin Islands, you know, we, we still haven't heard a hell of a lot about exactly his estate getting divvied up. Maybe we'll learn more because many of the victims are actually suing. But the point is, is that this was the last chance in criminal court in order to air this out to the public. Yeah. And the grand trial that we all deserved, where names were named, <clears throat> has just not come out. And conveniently, you know, at the same time, let's put this up there, Maxwell has now been placed on suicide watch. You know, they say ahead of her sentencing that they say that, oh, she's exhibited, you know, air. She's exhibited behavior in which she's depressed. I mean, obviously- Our lawyer not, says she's not suicidal, by right. the way. The lawyer says she's not suicidal. She's been placed on suicide watch anyway. I don't know who you should believe. Maybe that's a way of trying to get around it. <clears throat> they are preparing her for sentencing. Now she's been sentenced to 20 years in prison. But just remember, there's, she has a hell of a lot of information and she's still not talking. She is protecting Prince Andrew and continues to. Reports were that a hell of a lot of famous people were very upset and worried whenever she was arrested at that FBI compound in the middle of like New Hampshire now they can sleep or whatever. Easy, and they, they can probably sleep easy. I mean, at this point, what, what confidence should we have that any information is going to come out of this? Basically, everything we've learned has come out. I'm, you know, I, I'm glad that she's going to spend 20 years in prison. But frankly, she's 60 years old. That means she could actually walk at some point, which I think is disgusting and outrageous. And at the end of the day, all of my hopes for the trial were dashed. Basically, the day that the FBI charged her with those two older crimes. I'm not saying those crimes aren't just, but you know, we have crimes of being committed up until well, 2013. We had no information about it. And it also was part yeah. of just to remind everybody, the uh, prosecution strategy was what they called thin to win, yes. which means like you just focus narrowly on these couple of right. pieces to try to get the conviction without painting the broader portrait of all of the decades of criminal behavior, the massive pattern of recruiting and grooming these uh, children uh, into this, you know, horrific abuse, sexual abuse and rape. Uh, you know, that was, yeah. they they introduced some of that during the sentencing, but in terms of the actual trial and what the convictions were based on, they just tried to focus in on these few narrow charges, again, which were very serious and obviously which ends up with her receiving 20 years in prison. They say that uh, with potential credit for good behavior in the two years she spent in jail, she could leave prison in her 70s. So wow. Yeah, see, that's outrageous. She may also, still see the light of day. She was given a sentence which was less than the recommended. You know, the yeah. feds asked for 30 and they the asked judge only gave her 20. 30 to 55, I think. This is the problem. If you go thin to win, then they get sentenced on, you know, whatever they're actually convicted of, which, look, that's how it should work in a court of law. I'm not saying that it should work otherwise. Mm -hmm. but there's a hell of a lot more that could have come out on this trial that never actually did end up coming out. And now, you know, there's a lot of guys, Leon Black, Leslie Wexner, Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, Aoud Barak, I mean, can go on forever, mm -hmm. billionaires and others that she'd not only been pictured with, but had cavorted with yeah, privately. People we don't even know. Kevin Spacey, uh, who's a guy from Rush Hour, Chris Tucker. Bill Richardson, <laughs> I mean, Bill right? Richardson, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of folks. Oh, uh, uh, Alan Dershowitz. Mm -hmm. There's a, still a hell of a lot of folks who can probably sleep easier. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society, and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. 
That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.